To add a text box to your Google Drawing, you have two options. One is to go to the Insert menu and select Text Box. The other option is to find the Text Box tool on your toolbar, select it, you'll notice it turns blue, and your cursor changes to a plus sign. You can then draw your text box. Once you have your text box, you'll notice you have a cursor. You can then begin typing any information that you want in the text box. Once you have your text, you would need to highlight it so that you can format it. Using your mouse, drag over it, or on your keyboard, press Ctrl A if you're on a PC, and Command A if you're on a Mac. Once your text is highlighted, you have a few different tools that you can utilize. To change the font style, you click up here, use the drop down arrow to select a different font. You can then change the size of the font by clicking on the number and selecting a number or using the plus or minus sign to increase or decrease incrementally. You also have the bold, italicized, and underline features. If you only want to change one part of the text, simply highlight that text and make the changes. Additionally, you can change the color of the text using this tool, and you can also highlight the text. Additional tools include the ability to format the text from the toolbar with strike through, superscript, and subscript. You also have the option to use the capitalization tool, which will convert everything in the text box to lowercase, uppercase, or title case, which means the first letter of each word will be capitalized. So if you want it to stand out, you can use uppercase and all of the text will be in uppercase. A text box can also be filled in. If you select your text box and use this bucket, you can add a fill color to your text box. You can also change the border color as well as the border weight. In addition, you can change the border style. There are just a few options under the border dash option, but you can change how it looks. Other things you can do once your text is highlighted include formatting the alignment, so if you wanted it to be centered, or you do have some line spacing options if you wanted to increase the line spacing, say to double. Notice how the text box expands as I change the line spacing. You also have the ability to add numbers, so if you were doing a numbered list, or you do have the option for bullets. Further options might be found under the More menu, which would allow you to decrease and increase your paragraphing, as well as clear all of your formatting. If you do click all of your formatting, if you do click Clear Formatting, all of your text will go back to the original, with the exception of the capitalization and any bullets that you may have used. Take a look at our other video on how you can use shapes as text boxes.